great example of an issue where you've got historic operations that resulted in petroleum contamination or a non-aqueous phase liquid or NAPL that's present in the soil and the groundwater and at sites that might be adjacent to a river or a major waterway or a wetland, this product can result in impacts to that body of water. That presents a multitude of issues for the client or the owner or stakeholders. You're negatively impacting the environment. There might be fines or citations that are issued against the owner or stakeholders for this product that's getting into waterways. That also presents limitations with what you can do, future use for a piece of property. And so when you have indications like this or repeated notices of violations from a regulator, Geosyntec might be called in to do investigation and try and design a remedy that is both going to mitigate these issues and eventually make it so that the site can actually be used or sold or done something with other than just continuing to rack up fines. And so a lot of times for sites, there's not necessarily a single path forward. You have to understand where this product came from. You have to understand how it's moving, how it's behaving in the subsurface, how the groundwater and the soil and the surface water in the river are interacting or coalescing with one another. Once you understand those things, then you can try and design a remedy. And we put a lot of effort and thought and take advantage of the resources and the expertise that we have in-house to come up with solutions that are going to be long-lasting. So Geosyntec has really demonstrated a highly disciplined collaborative spirit of utilizing multidisciplinary teams with experts from all different backgrounds, from all over the world, all across the US, other countries, wherever, to work together and come up with not just an effective solution, but an effective, innovative, and long-lasting solution.